Well, we've all heard about the evidence linking climate change to human activity. Now, for the first time, a team of researchers is pinpointing an exact year when the tide will start to change. It's not all that far away. As Mike Relay reports, while the tropics will be the first to feel the pinch, Canada isn't all that far behind. The storms we see on the news seem more extreme than they used to, more common as well. And if it's not wind and rain overseas, it's flooding in downtown Calgary, or on a Toronto highway, or it's the unrelenting heat created by the sun. Now a group of scientists has managed to pinpoint a date when the climate will shift, 2047. It's far from the end of the world, but we are heading into unprecedented climates. The University of Hawaii study looked at all available climate models, crunched the data and came up with a simple way to get the message across. This map shows the year average air temperatures will shift beyond the extremes of the past 150 years, starting with the tropics and working out. In other words, every year after those dates will be warmer than the last. We all need to be uh, listening for those wake-up calls. You know, we, we woke up, we smell the carbon. And now we have to do something about it. Environment Canada called the study credible and that climate models are based on established laws of physics and chemistry and they provide sound estimates of future climate change. Now that's not to say everybody agrees with the science. Climate change skeptics point to findings in last month's UN report that global temperatures have not risen as fast as CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. They are unrealistic and unreachable. We are awash in strong, clear science that uh, the course we're on is extremely dangerous. The IPCC results from last month announced that there's virtual certainty that climate change is caused by human activity. It's very odd that some people can still just dismiss this. But that's become the norm. That is released and debated. Meanwhile, scientists say action needs to be taken, and they're hoping an expiry date spurs governments to act. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.